Hello, I am Professor Jitan Sandhu Dutta, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department of Tezpur Central University, India. I like to deliver some lectures on a very exciting topic of bioelectronics entitled Is Pathology to Biophotology, which will hopefully help the students of MTech and interdisciplinary PhD programs. And also I am confident that students will get interest as it will show how a very simple circuit element can be transformed into a sensor with innovation addition which uh, uh, through uh, engineering cleverness without changing the basic physics theory associated with it. For an example, if we consider one uh, basic circuit element, say parallel plate capacitor, then uh, we all know that to construct it to conducting plates are required, which are separated by dielectric medium. So when one plate is charged by voltage source, then simple physics theory says that charge is induced in the nearby plate through capacitive coupling in such a way that the whole system becomes electrically neutral. Let us see this in the diagram. See the first row. This first one, it is a parallel plate, conventional parallel plate capacitor consisting of two conducting metallic plate. When this first plate is charged by a voltage source, then charge is induced in the nearby plate through capacitive coupling. In such a way that the system becomes electrically neutral. Now applying the same principle in this figure, this plate, metallic plate is replaced by semiconducting plate. Then also it will work as per the definition of capacitance. This structure is a well-known structure called MOS structure or MOS capacitor. It has also a lot of contribution because you know lot of MOS devices are used as sensor, say for example gas sensors. Now you see the innovation. Say for example, same same system here, but in this semiconductor substrate, two uh, n-type regions have been fabricated. One one region you know is called source, other is called drain. And, and this transformation gives rise to a uh, well-known device called MOSFET. Lot of contribution, not only as the as amplifier, but also we all know that it is the basic building block of CMOS technology that has brought revolution. So you see uh, what is the beauty from step by step a, a transformation with innovation addition. Suddenly of course from the first level to the last one has not gone quickly. It has taken time because a lot of research have been uh, undertaken to get the actual uh, picture. 
this transformation remains confined only in one domain say for example here all all plates are solid all mediums are solid that is uh, from he, he, this onward it, it, it is a phase single phase that is solid solid phase but this transformation is also possible in case of uh, other phases say for example uh, capacitance principle can be applied to conducting plates no matter what type of conducting phase is used for example instead of using this metal plate we can use electrolytic plate also because electrolyte also a conducting medium here it is so this uh, conventional parallel plate capacitor which is transformed into a structure replacing this metal electrode by an electrolyte plate or electrolyte uh, solution this structure is given the name eis structure or electrolyte insulator semiconductor structure which is analogous to this mos structure so uh, both are conducting plates so same physics principle can be applied from here again innovation addition same thing only here uh, on on this uh, on this part on this plate suppose uh, semiconductor substrate here also two uh, contact regions have been uh, made giving rise to a uh, device which we call is fed device or ion sensitive field effect transistor which is also analogous to MOSFET but here again a transformation it may be transformed into another device given the name biofet or biologically sensitive field effect transistor it is also nothing but this device but on the top of this insulating layer one biological layer is fabricated which is also known as bioreceptor and for your information that as far as this structure is concerned if, if, if it is uh, it, it, this phase is liquid solid phase because electrolyte is a liquid solution so as far as uh, circuit is concerned to connect such a device in a circuit uh, directly electrical wire cannot be used because this phase is uh, liquid that is why one reference electrode is used so that uh, introducing it is uh, uh, this device or this uh, uh, element can be connected in a electrical or electronic circuit thus you see the beauty simple beauty of transformation What exactly I am going to say that this innovation uh, gave a key start to the development of different types of biosensors found today and still under research as far as nanotechnology is concerned. And also it is worth mentioning that uh, along with innovation, scientific well-established theory its scientific contribution and impact on different fields, issues and problems associated with the product are always required to analyze for its acceptance. I will try my level best to include all these 
giving special emphasis on practical works in conformity with skill development scheme in my subsequent lectures. Thank you.